Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, thanks for stopping by. My name's Tolu and on this channel I share content all around personal finance, budgeting, frugal living and I show you how to live your best life on a budget. So yesterday I shared a video all about how to have a debt free Christmas and when I wrapped up that video I had an idea, I was just like wait a minute, it's all good telling you guys how to do it but let me actually show you how I'm doing mine. So I haven't done a budgeting video on my channel in quite a while and I thought this would be the perfect one to do for you. In today's video what I'm going to be doing is sharing my Christmas 2020 budget with you. So in fact what I'm going to be doing is writing the budget and filling in the spreadsheet and you guys are going to see me do it and see how I allocate the money to different spending categories in which I spoke about. So if you don't know what I'm talking about then you want to go and watch the last video where I talked about how to budget for Christmas and how to ensure you have a debt free Christmas. So today's video is really going to be a practical video where I show you exactly how I set my December 2020 budget. So it might be a surprise to you when you look at the numbers and you see how little or even how much depending on how much you spend on Christmas. You might see my figures and think is that all you spend on Christmas or equally you might see my figures and be like oh my days you spend so much on Christmas but I think it'll be really good to see somebody else's Christmas budget, see how they allocate their money and see if you can take ideas and inspiration while you're creating your Christmas budget. Okay, so first things first, I want to name my spreadsheet Christmas 2020 budget. Mm -hmm. Cool, so we've got a blank spreadsheet that we're working with. So we've got Christmas budget. which is 300 pounds. So yeah, that's my Christmas budget, 300 pounds for everything, all included. So now I need to note down our expenses for Christmas, so expenses. So just before I go into it actually, it would be good to kind of explain how my Christmas sinking fund came about. So like I just mentioned, I've got a 300 pound sinking fund and this is money we've been saving up throughout the year to pay towards Christmas. So that 300 pound basically has to stretch and cover all our different spending categories. So what I'm going to do now is take that 300 pounds and break it down into the different subcategories like I mentioned in that previous video. Again, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it and come back and watch this one because in that video, I basically break down the budgeting method that you should use in order to have a debt free Christmas. So in this video, I'm going to be walking through my budget. I think the biggest category that I have is gifts, but I'm going to break the gifts down down into subcategories. I've got gifts for my children, I've got gifts for my husband and then gifts for my extended family as well. So I need to break them down into subcategories because if I just say I'm going to spend £200 on gifts, I might overspend on gifts for my children and not have enough money to pay for the rest of the family. So I want to break it down per person. So expenses, I've got children. So I've got three children and the budget for all, of, all three of them is £100. So I think that is a realistic budget for all three of them so it's 33 pounds each it works out so my plan for the kids christmas presents is buying one thing they need and one thing that they want so one thing that they need is hat scarf and gloves like they have old ones from years previously but especially my eldest he's one that's too small for him so bless him he's managing it now but i'm like no he actually needs a new set so i'm just going to get him a new set which he can have on christmas so i'm going to get him that and get for all his brothers too and then also one gift that they want so they're obsessed right now with the avengers and hulk and spider-man and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to get them one Hulk or Spider-Man or something like that gift each and that's going to be it. I don't spend a lot of money anymore on them at Christmas because they have three grandmas who spoil them rotten. I know come Christmas day and come Boxing Day I'm not even going to be able to get into the living room because it's going to be covered in boxes with all their gifts that they've got from all their different grandparents and aunts and uncles etc. So there's no need for me to be spending the fortune when they have so many presents coming in from different parties anyway. I used to do it back in the days and I don't know why I did it because it wasn't really necessary because they had more than enough gifts and what they end up doing is only playing with one or two of those gifts anyway so why am I coming to kill myself to buy all these expensive gifts that they're not even going to use so yeah I've learned my lesson now they're getting two gifts each and that is it so that £100 is going to stretch for all three children and then moving on to my niece and nephew so my niece she's getting £25 and my nephew is getting the same you see how the budget starts disappearing so quickly when you actually break it down per person as opposed to just having an overall budget because initially when you see 300 pounds you think oh, okay you've got a decent budget 
but then when you break it down per person you realize okay the budget is not that big but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it stretch so so far 150 of my 300 pound budget has been spent so the next category that I want to include is food so for Christmas what we tend to do is do it at my sister's house and we all pitch in towards the cost so Christmas food isn't actually that expensive because it's split four ways it's 50 pounds each so yeah 50 pounds will be my contribution towards Christmas dinner which is cool so now we've spent 200 of our budget so one thing I also wanted to include here is decorations so we have a Christmas tree and all the trimmings but my Christmas tree and the decorations are very tired we put up our Christmas tree the other day and I was like this Christmas tree actually needs some love like it's yeah on its last legs and it doesn't have much accessories on it it's looking quite dry at the moment but I'm like you know what we're gonna manage it this Christmas and next year we're gonna upgrade the tree and upgrade the decorations so what I want to do is get the things for next Christmas after this Christmas you know come Boxing Day all those Christmas decorations are going to be a fraction of the price that they're currently being sold at so that's when I want to get my decorations for next year I actually got that idea from Frugal Me Free and I was like oh my gosh why don't I ever do that I'm like yep yeah, don't worry next year I'm going to do that I'm going to plan ahead I'm going to buy my Christmas bits for Christmas 2021 now so that I save myself so much more money so yeah, that's why I want to put it into the budget now, take it out of this year's Christmas sinking fund so that next year I won't end up spending more on Christmas decorations when I'm upgrading my Christmas decorations, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to allocate £20 towards the um, Christmas tree upgrade. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to include here is travel costs and that's because on Boxing Day we tend to travel up to see my godparents, or should I say my husband's godparents and they live quite far away, so travel is quite expensive. So I'm going to include travel here on the spreadsheet oops it's in capitals let's make that lowercase yes yeah, so travel we're going to allocate 40 pounds for petrol yeah so 40 pounds for petrol to get us there and back on boxing day so so far we've got 150 to we've got 100 125 150 200 220 260 so we've got 40 pounds left of the budget to spend can you see how quickly it goes when you break it down per budget category suddenly there's not that much money left over and one thing i haven't even included is my parents my husband's parents so with that 40 pound balance that we have remaining we're gonna have to split that between all the parents so that means basically each parent's gift is going to come in under 10 pounds i know that seems a bit crazy and doesn't seem realistic at all but we're gonna have to make it work because the reality is I don't have any additional money to put at Christmas this year so we're gonna have to work with what we have so this is a perfect segue to tell you about another video that I have coming out actually where I talk about budget friendly Christmas presents so Christmas gifts that are not gonna cost you a penny or Christmas gifts that are gonna cost you very few pounds I've got a video coming out sharing all those ideas with you so that if you are stuck for Christmas gifts if you're in a position that I'm in right now whereby there's so many more people that you need to buy gifts for but the budget isn't going to allow you to buy those expensive gifts it's time to think of cheaper ways to give these people gifts so that you're not breaking the bank and you're not getting yourself in, into any unnecessary debt so definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when that video comes out with all those amazing Christmas gift ideas I'm definitely going to be doing some of those ideas for this Christmas as my budget you can see isn't stretching as far as I want it to stretch so I have to get really creative with the gifts that I'm going to be giving to people this year so so the last category we've got parents and the budget allocation is 40 pounds if we look at the final budget now we've got all my expenses added up together so you've got children 100 niece 25 nephew 25 food 50 decor 20 travel 40 and parents 40 and then the total equals 300 pounds as you can see that total equals the same as my christmas budget amount which means i've allocated all the budget and that's what we have to work with so what i should mention actually is that don't worry i'm gonna buy my husband a gift he is getting a nice christmas present it's not allocated within this budget because i've set his money aside and planned for his christmas present already early on in the year so that's not reflected in this budget we both use our separate spending money in order to buy each other christmas gifts but yeah that's literally my christmas 2020 budget that's how we plan to spend our 300 pounds christmas budget 
for the year 2020. So yes, I could spend so much more money if I'm not disciplined and I don't control my spending. I have such big financial goals in which I'm trying to achieve. There's places in which we're trying to get and we're trying to take our family to. And what that means is that sacrifices like this need to be made. Christmas does need to be done on a budget because we need to make sure that we stay on track with the plan and with the goal in which we're trying to pursue and trying to get to. So £300 is a decent budget. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna have an amazing Christmas regardless of how little or how much money we spend. So let's be a word of encouragement to you. If you're thinking, oh my gosh, I need to do this, I need to do that. I need to get my kids matching pajamas. I need to get us matching jumpers. All of those things, yes, if you can afford to do it, by all means do it, definitely, go ahead. It does really look amazing in the photographs and it's really nice to do, but it's a nice to do. It's not a necessity, it's not essential, and it's not worth derailing your financial goals or getting yourself into any unnecessary debt for. So yeah, that's literally it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed seeing my Christmas 2020 budget video, then do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and I will see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.